Hey everybody, it's Sasha from Trilla Tech. Today I'm going to be talking about the new EVM rollup on Tezos called Etherlink. This is a presentation I gave last month at our London Tezos meetup. If you're in the London area or ever around and you want to come to a meetup talking all about Tezos, please feel free to go to the link in the description below and join the meetup group. Let's start with the upgrades that brought in Smart Rollup. You might be familiar with the Mumbai upgrade that happened earlier this year, which actually brought in Smart Rollup. It also gave us 15 second block times. With the Smart Rollup upgrade, there was a great, great demo, technical demo, and the actual technical ability to reach 1 million transactions per second, or TPS. Now that's super exciting. So what are smart rollups? It might be best to start with what are smart rollups for? So in general, in the blockchain, there's a lot of nodes, a lot of validators around the world, and they all update the state. They all run the same calculations and all agree on a global consensus. Because of this blockchain setup, this is a little slow. All the computers in the network do the same, set of, uh, of calculations and, and update the state. And this le leads to a blockchain usually being relatively slow. Well, Visa currently, depending on where you look online, can do between 2,000 and 20,000 TPS. To give you an example, Bitcoin is around 10 transactions a second. Ethereum is one order of magnitude larger at best at 100. And Tezos is even one order of magnitude iron and its layer one capabilities. But how do we bring that to an even larger number and that 1 million TPS number that you saw before? Well, what if instead of running all these nodes for the Tezos layer one, instead of talking to them in order to do your transactions, what if you talk to some fewer nodes, maybe even one node that ran a smart rollup and that smart rollup talked to the layer one chain and actually wrote and read what information it required from Tezos when needed, as opposed to have, storing everything on layer one. So let's take a use case. Here's Alice and she's talking to one of these smart rollup nodes one of these smart rollup nodes can talk to and, and read from t the layer one Tezos chain whilst only writing a little bit of data to the Tezos blockchain when it's needed for security and for historical data purposes. So this is actually how smart rollups can provide 1 million transactions a second. And actually at TezDev this year, Emma Turner here from Chilatech and Thomas Letan from Nomadic Labs gave a great presentation on an actual 1 million transaction per second demo that they carried out using a hundred smart rollup on a publicly available testnet. Feel free to scan this QR code. I might be in the way a little. So how did we get to 1 million TPS? Smart rollups, right? So now we've gone through what smart rollups are for. They're for scaling. What is a smart rollup at its core? A smart rollup is a web assembly or a WASM program. So this is something that's very flexible. Wasm program is a set of instructions. It's usually a great compilation target for many languages and it's a relatively new technology in the web, uh, is in the browser. So for example, you can have JavaScript compiled to WebAssembly. You can have C++ compiled to WebAssembly. You can write your smart rollup in Rust, for example, and you and that will compile down to Wasm. So there's a kernel of the smart rollup, which is a set of instructions and you write it in a higher level language and then compile it to Wasm. And finally, these smart rollups are optimistic. So just like some of the layer twos you might be familiar with if you're coming from the Ethereum ecosystem, these uh, smart rollups are optimistic. So in fact, there is a refutation game and there are fraud proofs and uh, there is a way of saying that, you know, oh, I think something, has, something hasn't gone quite right. So how are Tezos smart rollups different? I've just been talking about optimism. So you might be thinking of Arbitrum or optimism. Let's, let's dial down here to the high level differences. So smart rollups are permissionless. For Tezos, or any XDZ holder can take part in keeping the state of a rollup secure. You can also deploy your own uh, smart rollups. It's a technical process, but it is available for anyone to do if they have the technical know-how. Tezos' smart rollups are actually enshrined. So rollups are first-class citizens of Tezos alongside smart contracts. So what does that mean? Layer twos like Optimism and Arbitrum, they actually write to a smart contract on layer one in Ethereum. They write what information they need. It means that Ethereum doesn't have any idea what Optimism is. There's no direct link, right? The whole of Optimism chain relies in this one smart contract in layer one on Ethereum. Theory. Now, obviously, that there's some security risks there. Now, Tezos take a different approach, and rollups are indeed first class citizens. So, alongside smart contract, they sit very tightly integrated with the Tezos core protocol. As I mentioned, these smart rollups are very versatile, and the running of a rollup is determined by an upgrade of a WASM program, gives you lots of flexibility. So, realistically, you can build pretty much anything you want. There are some limitations with the interfaces with Tezos, but it is much more flexible than the layer twos that you see currently. And this really opens up a whole wide range of new use cases, applications, while still being secured by the wonderful decentralized layer one of Tezos. So, I've been talking about smart rollups, and now I've introduced the fact that we're going to talk about an EVM rollup, right? So what's the EVM? The EVM stands for the Ethereum Virtual Machine. This is just an instruction set. So 
arithmetic instructions, input output, loops, and conditionals, and smart contracts written in Solidity compile down to these instructions. These smart contracts written in Solidity can run on any EVM chain or any EVM compatible interface. So you might be thinking now, you've been talking about Sasha this whole time about smart rollups, the fact that they are flexible, they can be written in any language, and they are versatile and enshrined. So perhaps, maybe, we can make an EVM compatible interface as a smart rollup. Thankfully, the, the very smart people at Tezos have been thinking about this question. How can we bring the fantastic benefits of Tezos, you know, its security, its decentralization, its high throughput to Ethereum developers today? The way we do this is by Etherlink. And Etherlink is that logo there in the middle, and you can check out the link in the description to see Etherlink. So the EVM rollup alpha is live on Ghostnet, so you can go try it out today. You can use something like Remix and connect your MetaMask to the EVM rollup and deploy a Solidity contract, just like you would on any EVM compatible chain. We here in the Dev Success team Trillatech have built a little a little fun app called Tacos Token, so you can get your first ERC20 token on the new EVM rollup, and you can head over to tacos.tezevm.xyz. When you go onto that application, your MetaMask will pop up and add the EVM rollup network to your MetaMask. So that's a handy way of actually adding that to your MetaMask, so you can interact with things on the EVM rollup. There's also a block explorer that I have up at explorer.tezevm.xyz. This is an unofficial one. There'll be an official one later. This is just something I'm running. All right, that's it from me today. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me or Claude here at the Trilotech team. Please feel free to sign up for the office hours that every Thursday afternoon. Please come and talk to us. You can ask questions about Etherlink. You can ask questions about Tezos, technical questions, or just to chat with us. We're a friendly bunch. See you next time.